Halberg identified 30 corporations that paid zero dollars um, in federal income tax between 2008 and 2011, while spending millions on lobbying and campaign contributions. So currently, 83 out of the top 100 largest corporations in our country um, are using things called offshore tax havens, where they avoid paying American taxes. This allows some companies to not only pay very little in taxes, but some of them pay no money in taxes. We at CalPRI think this is unfair to the average taxpayer, to the American business owner, to Americans in general. So we put together a press conference to highlight this issue and encourage the passing, the passage of two acts in Congress, um, the Stop Tax Haven Abuse Act and the Stop Abuse of Tax Havens Act. All right, I am Cassandra. I am here to warn you about an issue area in which America is on the wrong track. Now we have shifted to a system in which our taxes on corporations have fallen enormously, have come riddled with loopholes, and greatly reduced their share of the tax burden, putting an increasing share of the tax burden onto taxes on wages and onto a no longer terribly progressive social insurance, a terribly progressive social insurance and income taxes. Second, second, our economy has shifted in directions toward education and toward health care, where the private market finds it much harder to be competitive, and where as a result, a good society has a significantly larger role for government than it did in the first post-war generation. Just written this morning, so I take work in progress. <clears throat> the power of corporate tax exploits tax loopholes to the max. Laws and enforcement are too lax, so we the people pay more tax. Our attention may wane or wax, but Calper gives us the facts. This giant subsidy or corporate welfare for many of the nation's largest, most profitable corporations shifts the burdens of paying for our public services and infrastructure onto small businesses and the average taxpayer. Hi, I'm the average taxpayer. I'm Emily Floy. <clears throat> I live in Oakland and I teach in the Oakland Public Schools. And in the nearly 35 years that I've taught in Oakland, I've seen continual cuts to school funding. There's no money to offer art, music, drama. There's no money for librarians. In some schools, there are no libraries. You can imagine a high school in Oakland with no library. Teachers are laid off, class sizes are increased. And why? Because there's no money. And yet, multinational corporations are earning record profits the problem is that they are, not, are paying little or no taxes. We need corporations to pay their taxes to support the communities where they do business. 